Well, hello, everyone. Hello. How long did I keep to my resolution of not buying any more modules? Was that a month? Was it six weeks? Anyway, I felt like there was a functionality that I really needed in this, the rhythm case. Um, it's the Anna module gate mod. It does trigger to gate, gate to trigger. You can control the length of a gate, make it longer, make it shorter. You can also do trigger delay. It's basically all of the gating functionality of a function generator without the voltage slope part. And while function could do that, function only has one channel of doing that and it would be at the cost of being able to use it as an LFO or envelope or any of the sloped voltage type of stuff. Little Nerd also has trigger to gate function in it. I don't care much for the multi-menu aspect of Little Nerd. I've got it set up to do Euclidean patterns and it's just kind of bewildering to me to have to select other functions because the way it works I don't really like that. So I have Little Nerd configured the way I want it. And I'm leaving it that way. To make room for the gate mod, I moved mutable links over here because I just felt like eh, uh, it, it's a buffered molt and mixing, which I thought I could probably do without in the context of my rhythm section. And then the rest of my plan was I'm adding 4 HP and then I have this 4 HP passive molt which I had stashed in a drawer and if I get something else that's 12 HP then I can get me a 20 HP pod and pull 20 you know pull 16 HP out of the rack and put it in here and that folk tech conduit is in there right now and that's not what the plan was it was supposed to have been the Olegtron 4060E but some things happened this is create audio cells it's a sequencer and this thing caused me the most frustrating install that I have ever done. Ever. It came shipped with a power cable that's only two inches long. Because apparently they, they expect that you're only going to install this in the nifty little skiff case that they make. And you're not going to put it in anything else. Why would you put it in any other case? I mean, goodness gracious. Two inches is ridiculous. It needs to be longer. And the other thing is a uh, Eurorack power connection is a 16 pin serial bus type cable. Most of the modules only use five of the pins. And so the connector on the module is a five pin thing and then it's 16 pin on the other end where it connects to the bus board cells uses a full ribbon 16 pin 16 it's it's the full size and so i had to steal m669's cable because thank goodness i have one case where a two inch cable is actually long enough to reach the back. No way in this case because the bus board for the front row is back here behind the second row. Wouldn't work. And it's more than two inches to the back wall of this case too, even at the top. Two inches. Come on, you guys. That's not long enough. 
And then the other problem, after I got the Trigotronic cable and I thought, okay, now that's long enough, I can install it. Well, guess what? The circuit board on this thing is too tall to fit between the rails of the dope for case. Come on! Dieter Dopfer invented Eurorack. That's the standard. Your module should fit in a Dopfer case. That's preposterous. Anyway, this, uh, this Pittsburgh case has really skinny rails. And as you can see, cells did fit in there. So that's where I put it. And I took Fultec Conduit out. And I don't know, maybe I could have moved Conduit over here, but it would have been more juggling to figure out where the heck I would, what else I would move to fit it. And I, I, I just wanted to be done. So cells is up here. Now that I've got it installed and working, Function-wise, it's pretty good. It does what it's supposed to. It's a sequencer. Uh, my only complaint as far as functionality is that the, when you turn it all the way down, the lowest voltage is not zero. I don't know what it is because I don't have a meter, but it's definitely more than zero. And so you have to set your oscillator pitch offset a lot lower to compensate for that. Anyway, cells is controlling the two oscillators of the life form. And the way it works uh, these little cells there, you can see them lighting up. You can touch those. Actually, you touch it while it's running. It does that. Um, it's got two gate inputs. One gate clocks it this way down to the left, the other gate clocks it down to the right. So if you're clever, you can set it up to be a 16 step sequence, or you can send it strange gates and it'll jump around that little grid. There's two gate outputs and they output the same thing whenever a Whenever a step changes, it outputs a gate. And when you touch it, it outputs a high gate when you touch it. And there's two voltages per step. You hold, you select a cell, you press the button, you turn the knob. Uh, you can have it free running where it's all, it's digital. So the voltage is a 12 bit value. And you can have it free running 12 bits pretty smooth the increments are too small to hear or you can set it to quantize which quantizes by half steps and makes it real easy to tune now i've got penta controlling the pitch of the dco which is playing bass gated through the mengxi low pass gate by the gate mod which is receiving a gate from the cipher turn that on and I have mook slicer running providing pitch for plats that's running through this VCA just getting CV from rampage rampage is being triggered by one of these cipher gates going through branches and then being divided by three and I can turn that up with this
so yeah it's working pretty well but man oh man what an afternoon of sweating and cussing and taking things apart to get this where I it's not where I wanted to put it and because of the just negligent design this module ruined my plans but it does work and it is pretty cool so I'll forget the pain I'll forget the pain after a while anyway thanks to my patreon patrons they paid for these things and um, music winds up on Bandcamp after Patreon gets to hear it for a while. Only the best. I kind of like this one. I suspect that this one will wind up on Bandcamp. But anyway, thanks you all for watching. This video's longer than usual. I'm going to wrap it up here. Appreciate your attention, and I'll catch you next time.